Hello there and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. That's right, we've jumped across the Atlantic once again. There's been the 151 update and they've added a new truck into the game once again. The new Mac and not only the new truck, a very special edition paint job and kind of kit customization of it. And it's all black, very dismal generally, but we've run with it. <laughs> I've made very few other customizations to this truck. Uh, we're just gonna give it a go. I've given it a bigger fuel tank. That's about it. We've picked up a cargo of other trucks. Um, technically they're Western Star trucks because they haven't added in any other truck deliveries, themed truck deliveries into the game since that particular release. Uh, but if you kind of don't look too closely, maybe you can pretend that they're Max. So I'm gonna get going and start driving before it gets uh, too late on the delivery. Uh, I've decided to start in Oakland, apparently just down the road from here there used to be a Mac production facility so I thought it was an appropriate place to start. Now they no longer make them in this place <laughs> in California so then I thought well the port makes sense because that's where they'll be being imported now from wherever they're made probably. I think they still make them in Pennsylvania to be fair but that's that's on the east coast we can't get there yet uh maybe in 20 years time when they release another one we can do that then. But we're just going to do a little role play of we've got a delivery of trucks and we're going to take them down to the nearest Mac dealership which is in Fresno and as we go we're going to be exploring some of the new roads uh, in California I say new uh, I've been done for a while but I haven't gotten around to exploring them so to me they're new I also have no idea if I'm going the right way this port is confusing Geralt's as confused as I am at least so that makes me happy here we go turn right we just jump back in the cab for now. As you can see, it is a sea of darkness in here. This is like the emo trucker's dream. It's kind of strange. Big wide roads, but no traffic lights to help us get across safely. So we've discovered this road, but that's because this is the one that I drove to get here after buying my truck, because I had to come down from Sacramento. <laughs> so... We had to get here somehow. Otherwise, this is all new to me. Uh, they redid California quite a long time ago. Uh, I think they've done it in a few phases though, but I pretty much haven't been back since they did any of it because I've been exploring the new DLCs instead and been jumping between this and Euro Truck Simulator 2 for those events and other games in between. Onto the freeway. The first thing I noticed when I jumped into this truck after buying it was my mirror to the left is a long way around. Normally I just put the seat back and increase the field of view a little bit in order to bring that into view. But even cranking the field of view to like 80 something and putting the seat fully back, I still couldn't see it. So we're going to have to just turn our heads to look at the mirrors, or more likely we're just going to be sideswiping a few cars. I also told myself I was going to try and do this delivery legally, even though I don't have fines on and I'm already speeding. Um, <laughs> there we go, now it's 55. <laughs> Old habits die hard. At least we can go into the external view, and from here we'll be able to tell if we're in the lanes a little bit more. Uh, I don't tend to take the corners very well when I'm in the outside view, when it's kind of tight roads, but while we're on the freeway at least, we can be in scenic view for a little bit longer. Especially since they've redone up a lot of the scenery around here, so it would be a shame not to be able to look at it. Mind you here. Well, I can't speed up the hill, I doubt. But it's a 500 odd horsepower engine, I think. And we've got an 18 speed gearbox. So, there we go, 56. I'm going to lock cruise in at 56. It's only barely speeding, so surely that doesn't count. <laughs> a Modesto is interesting. They actually added that newly into the game. I don't know whether or not 
the route that it will have right. plotted to Fresno will take me through there, unfortunately. I hope it does. So that way I can tick that one off the list as another discovered city. I've already got the achievement for discovering everything in California, I'm fairly sure, so it won't count against me, but it'll be nice to uh, make that grey name gold. They have been making a raft of other improvements to the game, alongside uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 as well. They've been doing parallel development for a lot of upgrades. Obviously they ruined the user interface a while ago. We've already covered that in previous videos when they rolled that out. Still not too happy about it. <laughs> Fairly sure, like, it, the speedo is blinking at me on the GPS at the moment. Keep left. Randomly. Just, yeah. Like, 56, now it's fine, and then sometimes it'll randomly go red. I don't know why. I'm fairly sure it used to only go red at all when you were more than five mile an hour or something over the speed limit. It's just gotten a lot pickier about it. So I pretty much have to go... I'm, I'm actually going to start slowing down a little bit and now relock my cruise. So hopefully it stops just blinking at me because that's actually really annoying. But I've also been going through updating a bunch of the road textures and surrounding areas as part of their just general refurbishments. I saw they would uh, redone some of the vegetation in Texas in preparation for the Arkansas uh, DLC. So that's kind of cool. Added in some missing roads that were in Oklahoma I believe. So I need to go back there and explore those as well on top of all of my other exploration that I still have to do. Vaguely remember complaining about a route that was missing that kind of made sense to me to be there, so I wonder if that's what they've added in. Modisto and Fresno second right, apparently. Well, some of these traffic peoples might be getting off at this right, yep, so we won't bother joining the queue just yet. Ah, that guy didn't though. Fresno, junction half a mile. The California rework that they've been doing is very much in line with how they've been upgrading Germany in various phases in Europe as well. I believe the 151 update for that has revamped more cities there, so I've got my work cut out for me back in that game as well. Generally just a case of updating older parts of the game to be more in keeping with how the newer map DLC have a, a different standard applied to them now. And I'm a big fan of that. I really appreciate that they are doing that. I'm just still really salty that they haven't done the UK at all in Euro Truck Simulator 2, because it's one of the most in need of attention. Those roads are so narrow. In fairness, some of them are in real life too. You can see along here they've got greenhouses off to the left there along with that Walden's Depot which I'm fairly sure is new. It looks like the turn off to Modesto is up here so we won't get to go there. Not this time, another time. And a lot more farms off to the sides where I seem to remember. It'll be interesting to take a look. This road's probably on one of the speedrun routes I suspect. Might be on Reading to Yuma is probably covered by this area. The comparison is probably just previously brown fields as far as the eye can see. Now we've got a little bit more dotted in the way of trees and yeah, farms, various plantations around as well. Just brings the countryside to life a little bit more, which is very important when you've got otherwise fairly boring roads to drive on over very long distances. We're only doing about 275 miles I think today, which is still quite a way, that's like 400 and some odd kilometers. That would get you most of the way down the North Island of New Zealand I think. It's a very long way. Thankfully we can do a fair speed, so again I am obeying the speed limit otherwise I would be doing 80 at least. 
And you'll have to excuse my driver yawning, but I did only have about four hours available on the clock. How are we going? Next we're stopping one hour three and we should be there in 31 minutes, so not a problem. We're just going to have to put up with that noise for a while. San Joaquin Verva. Yep. I still can't get over how the water textures and animations in this game are better than a lot of others where water is more of a primary focus. <laughs> say what you will about the graphics in this game one they made a huge improvement when they redid the lighting a while ago two obviously they have been updating the textures maps over time but it's still a really lightweight game all things considered but i think it looks really good <laughs> time to pop back inside the truck here Keep right. honestly even if this isn't really your gameplay style, just because of the graphics Thanks alone, right. honestly do recommend you just wishlist it, pick Keep it up right. dirt cheap on sale one time, and just drive around. You level up to the point that you can buy your own truck, which does not take long, because they let you borrow like $400,000 really early right. in the game. Right. And you can buy your own truck and just drive around, have some fun, take some photos, and make some deliveries. Are you going to let me in? Okay, I had to drive quite close before they'd let me in. Now I don't probably have a very good angle for uh, getting in the gate with these trucks. Yeah, I'm going to have to just go a little bit further this way. Because they are all articulated, they're not on a static trailer. Alright. Where do you want it? I can do anything! No, no, no I cannot. Ah, that's perfect. I'm actually in a decent angle for that. This isn't actually near the dealer, but the vehicle depot made the most sense as the destination to take the trucks, and then the idea is you can just drive them from here. This is a vehicle depot, at least. And have we lined it up? We have. Heh, <laughs> no mirrors. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Only 173 miles. Sorry, I thought it was 270. Well, that's the delivery done. Now we're going to go for a little bit of a loop around Fresno since I haven't been back here since they updated it. And we'll go to where the Mac dealer actually is. We can pretend that we're delivering one of their trucks. How's that? <laughs> the role play continues. Uh, here or the next one? Was I meant to turn right here? Turn yes. Right. It's hard to tell when the you are getting tired window pops up and means I can't look at my map anymore. <laughs> I do have the one on the dash. I needed to add the thing on, uh, you can have a phone on your dashboard as well, Ghost like on your windshield. Kind of like a sticky mount sort of thing. And that's a really good way of having an additional map to follow. Because the one on the right is very often obscured. Right. Oh, a viewpoint then apparently. Right. Uh, not one I can access right now, unfortunately. How do I even get up there? Presumably then from right. up here. Oh, there's a road that just isn't filled in. You know what? That's a good right. place to go. We're not doing the delivery anymore, so we can now drive illegally. That's the way this goes. <laughs> that and I hate waiting at intersections. We're going to go right instead of left, because there's a thing down here. New passage, map updated. I mean, it barely counts, but... At least it's discoverable from driving on the road, so you know it's here. I appreciate that. The city of Fresno. Why is it hidden away like this? That's weird. <laughs> I mean, this is a good lookout point, I'll give it that. But it seems strange not to have this viewpoint downtown. Anyway, that's the other fun thing with this is you can drive around, visit the photo opportunity places, visit the viewpoints. I still wish that they put in a little subtext of what you were looking at at each point so you knew why it was interesting. But just in general, some nice sort of panning drone shots. There we go, there's our 
new mech in all its glory. Excellent. It's, uh, hmm, can't quite make the turn, but <laughs> they did put the viewpoint thing right in the middle of the turnaround, so I couldn't just go around it normally. <laughs> Makes it a bit tricky. Stop? Well, maybe. Turn left. Fairly sure Fresno used to just be one road and a few depots, and that was it. Like most towns and cities in the game, to be honest, when the game first released, it was pretty stark. But it, that's all it needed to be at the time. But as things have moved on and expectations have changed, the focus has kind of shifted on developing the areas in between the towns and the towns themselves for more of an experience, instead of it just being about drive truck long distance. <laughs> So up here is, I believe, the Mac dealership somewhere around this coffee shop. Yep, there we go. Uh, is it going to discover it for Turn me? Left. I'm going to have to go down the side road, presumably. Finally, we are here. Let's just turn in. Mac dealer discovered. And we can actually use this as a rest stop since we need to sleep anyway. And hey, we've got one of their cars, trucks. Find a place to rest. We're just gonna stop over here, park up, and take a break. And there we have it, the new Mac Pinnacle taken for a little bit of a test drive. It's a nice enough truck to drive. I certainly didn't have any major complaints. Uh, mirror placement notwithstanding, they're very wide. I guess it gives a much better angle back towards the rear of the truck. and. In a real world situation it's fine because you've got peripheral vision and you can look off to the side. If I had an ultra wide monitor or something, or some of those really advanced truck simulator rigs you see people having where they have three screens, it would be fine. Uh, on a normal 16x9 display you have to really crank back the field of view to get even a glimpse in the mirror and it's not a very good experience the rest of the time because the uh, windscreen becomes a post box. So, you know, compromise. You can bring up the virtual mirrors as well, which I normally would do in general gameplay, but I wanted them out of the way for this showcase. Hope you enjoyed the drive. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.